Welcome back to Titans All Access from the BetMGM studio. Last December against Indianapolis, Titans punter Ryan Stonehouse took two massive shots, the second of which left him seriously injured and ended his season. Many feared in that moment that Stonehouse's career might have been ended. Almost amazingly, nine months later, the best punter in the NFL over the last two seasons has returned. In this week's Nissan Insider, Amy Wells sits down with Ryan Stonehouse to discuss his injury, his comeback, and the fact that he is always moving forward. Always. How good does it feel to be back on a football field? Oh, it feels great. I mean, honestly, like that was such a goal for me to just be active on the active roster, start camp, and um, you know, that feeling when, when I talked to Rand and everything like, let me do this. I, I can't explain in words like this journey that I've gone through to get here, you know, how crazy it's been and just for it to come full circle and be back is a win for me right now. So it's December 3rd, 2023. We're playing the Colts. It's the beginning of the fourth quarter and you get hit in your plant foot. At what point did you realize this is worse than someone hitting me in a way that I don't like to be hit? It was something that was totally foreign and um, you know, I kind of knew things were bad. I mean, I, it, I mean, it hurt obviously, and it was something that like I've never felt. So I knew something was definitely wrong, but you never really know the extent of the injury. And um, I remember when they were carrying me off the field, I remember putting my left foot down at some point and there was like nothing there supporting it. Wow, this is not gonna be something that's just a cakewalk of a recovery. So uh, that was obviously something that went through my mind was like, Am I going to be back in a year? Am I going to be back in two years? How long is it going to take? Was there ever a point that you thought this could impact the trajectory of my career? You know, you never know really until a couple days after, like what the extent of the injury is. And, um, you know, that was like a point where I was like, you know, this could really take a really long time. But, you know, luckily enough, that wasn't the case. And uh, I was able to, you know, find out what the extent was. and feel a little bit more at ease about what it was, but obviously, yeah, I mean, it's something that was definitely crossed my mind. What's your mental state like as yeah. all of this is going on? The mental part is tough because you really have to think, I might be behind and coming back in terms of like where everybody else is. I maybe have to catch up to that level. Um, but I think what really kept me grounded was the fact that like, I'd go a couple weeks and ha have a good, a good day. And I was like, okay, if I can have a good day, it's really just about how, you know, how consistent of those days can I have. Is it hard to trust your leg again? It's almost like doing something for like the first time and you, you know you can do it and you're like, oh, okay, that was pretty easy, let me do it again. And then it just becomes habit. And, you know, taking that next step in camp, I feel like, you know, I've already had one day punting, but I, I feel like, okay, like there was so much room for growth there. While you heard doing all of this, Mm -hmm. rehabbing a major injury. You are also embarking on a completely new career. Tell me about getting your real estate license. Yeah, well, it was just some, it, it actually happened last September while we were in season. And I just felt like, you know, I think a lot of guys would agree that during the season, there's just a lot going on and you kind of want a little bit of a break from football at some point, whether that's after practice or during your off day or whatever. And, you know, I thought, oh, this might be a good idea to, it's always been an interest of mine and it's something that I felt like, okay, in the off season, I could, you know, do something with my time. And I love doing it, and so I figured, why not take the test? I did it with Morgan Cox, and we both got our license together, and so it was fun having someone around there with me to do it. Do specialists just do everything together? I, like, is, yeah, you'd that's be surprised. That's what I'm walking away with. You'd be surprised, we're a tight group. And Morgan's such a competitor in that way, he's like, yeah, let's do it. And we tried to do it in record time, you of know? And, um <laughs> And we did it pretty good, and and we both passed tests on the first time, so we were pretty psyched about that. That's awesome. So, is this the preparation for post football? I don't know. Probably not. I I, I mean, I just I went to school for criminal justice. I love that kind of stuff. So I don't know if it's something like after. I'm sure it will be like eventually down the line, but I think it's going to be something during and uh, throughout. Like I said, I think it's just a great outlet to like you know take a step back and do something to where my mind can kind of go somewhere else for a little bit. 